please pay attention this video will be one of the most important videos in my channel especially for beginners and intermediate level because in this video i'm going to show you all electron component that you can find in any laptop motherboard so if you watch this video until the end i guarantee for you 100 percent that you can know all components of laptop motherboards because we are going to study many motherboards in order to cover all components so let's get started but please before diving into details make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell to stay updated for future videos like this one so i'm going to teach you the component motherboard by scanning the motherboard like this okay from one side to other side and then go to other side and scan it like this okay so we have here current sense resistor the reference is r or pr this is inductor here we have mosfets this is ceramic capacitors here we have another kind of mosfet three terminal mosfet and this one eight terminal mosfet here we have resistors this is basically zener diode here we have resistor ceramic capacitors this is a six pin ic we have another ic here we have a big ic this is basically the control ic for the processor here we have mosfets ceramic capacitors inductor 10 tenem capacitor okay so ceramic capacitors and then here we have mosfets ic inductor mosfets 10 tenem capacitors ceramic capacitors so let's see this side also we have same component here also so here as you can see this is this is basically the network resistor okay a combination of many resistors we call it network resistor okay so let's see the other side so ceramic capacitors this is inductor this is not a diode we have inductor do you see here pl okay always the reference for inductor is l or pl so mosfets uh, current sense resistor mosfets inductor this is also inductor or coil this is the charge ic okay here we have the super io inductors ic this is electrolytic capacitors the reference is pc or c as you can see here so then let's pass here this is basically we have y1 this is oscillator we have mosfets ic inductors resistor this is basically over here do chipset or the suit bridge or we called it or also ich input output control hub okay so this is another crystal oscillator we have here x1 you can find x1 or y1 as you can see so the reference for oscillator you can find x or y okay here basically we have the bios this is bios not mosfet do you see so for the processor circuit we have electrolytic capacitor we have inductors we have 10 tenem capacitor inductor inductor electrolytic capacitor we have ic's as you can see here crystal oscillator this is fuse you see here we have f means this is the fuse this is the ic that control the rg45 connector here we have hdmi usb connector here we have audio port and this is the controller the ic that controls audio port when for example you have a problem with this port you should check this ic of course here we have several capacitors around it and here we have inductors we have ic so let's see this motherboard also so we have 10 tenem capacitors this is basically another 10 tenem capacitor okay here we have 22 as you can see microfarad 10 volts 
This is 8 pin IC. Over here we have inductor as you can see. This is a small inductor. We have L, serum capacitors, IC, crystal oscillator, 10 term capacitor. Here we have serum capacitor. This is the clock generator IC that gives the timing or the clock for the whole motherboard oscillator. So here we have 10 term capacitor, inductor, inductor. 10 term capacitor we have plus this is basically polarized capacitor CMOS battery ICH we have the BIOS MOSFETs 10 term capacitors ceramic capacitors we have here as you can see inductors 10 term capacitors this is diodes as you can see basic, basically the diodes with the black line this is basically the normal diodes and for the Zener diodes, it has a blue line. I will show you the Zener diode in the next motherboard. Here we have ICs. This is MOSFETs. Those could be MOSFETs or transistor. So this is Zener diode. I will show you how to differentiate between MOSFETs and transistor. Of course, using the multimeter in the next lectures. Here, as you can see, we have the Zener diode. Do you see? Here, this is a diode with a blue line. Here, also a blue line. But for this one, as you can see here, we have a black line. It means this is a normal diode. Okay? So, ceramic capacitors, ceramic capacitors. This is MOSFET. Why we have here Q? When you find Q, means MOSFET. And when you find U, like this, for example, over here, we have U, as you can see here. We have U means this is IC. Okay, so here we have, as you can see, a five pin IC. We have MOSFETs, serum capacitors. Here also we have another electronic capacitor, inductor, and so on. So let's see the other side over here, as you can see. Let's see what we have here. So we have MOSFETs, this is zener diode. Oscillator, this is the super IO 10 term capacitor IC. Here we have MOSFET, serum capacitors IC. So let's see another motherboard as you can see here. So this is the input power jack. This is diode. Here we have MOSFETs, so electrolytic capacitor. This is a polarized capacitor. Here, this is minus. Okay. Always this mark means minus, and over here we have plus, as you can see. This capacitor is used in, for filtering purposes. Inductor, MOSFETs, inductor, 10 term capacitor, MOSFET. So, current sense resistor, MOSFET. This is also MOSFET. This is ceramic capacitors. This is the battery connector. Inductors, as you can see here. 3 volt and 5 volt inductor circuit electrode capacitor. This is BIOS. So you see, here we have BIOS and here we have MOSFETs. The BIOS is always bigger than the MOSFETs in terms of size. Okay, RAM slots. Okay, so this is the RAM circuit. Always when you find inductor, means you have a circuit. Here we have the RAM circuit where we have inductor. Electronic capacitor MOSFETs and over here we have the CPU circuit. Here we have inductors, we have MOSFETs, ceramic capacitors. This is the graphic card. Okay, so the not bridge is integrated with the CPU. Here we have the graphic card and over here we have the, the, the SOOT bridge or the ICH. So we have MOSFETs, we have here as you can see <coughs> diode. So let's see the other side. So charge IC 3 volt 5 volt control IC this is super IO crystal oscillator as you can see here we have several capacitors this is MOSFET this is the audio control IC we have crystal this kind of resistor this is network resistor do you see here we have R in means resistor network okay here, this is basically a current sense resistor. We have X here, we have, this is a crystal oscillator. 
So this is the last motherboard that we gonna study right now. So let's begin from here, from the input. Here we have a diode, you see D means diode. This is the power jack, here we have switches or MOSFETs. Okay, then here we have the IC, this is the CPU control IC. MOSFETs, ceramic capacitors. We have 10 term capacitors. Okay, let's go here. So we have, this is the BIOS. This is voltage regulators, I see. So let's go over here. So this is the clock generator, I see. Always you will find next to the clock generator, I see you will find an oscillator. Here, this is the CPU IO. We have another BIOS. For this motherboard, it contains basically two BIOSs, I see, okay? So MOSFETs, this is CMOS battery, audio control IC, this is basically this controls this part, as you can see. So that's it guys, I hope that you understand a little bit about laptop motherboard component. If you have any question, in the comment below, and uh, of course if I forget any component, please Tell me in the comment below uh, and we're gonna discuss about it. Thank you very much. And please don't forget like, subscribe and share the video. And for anyone who wants to join me, either in the Patreon page or in the YouTube channel membership, you are very welcome. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.